Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a general reading today, and this is the theme brought to you by the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Card Deck. New Moon in Gemini. Think it through. I feel like you had that somewhat recently, um, but we'll see. Let's consult the tarot here and see what else you need to know. What advice do you have for Cancer, please? What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Cancer? Guidance, please, for Cancer. All right, that should be good. All right, after we read the cards, then we will have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading, too. You've got the world right out of the hatch. The Ace of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Swords. You've got the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Well, I do feel like if you have an issue with somebody and there's like no communication whatsoever, I feel like the break is coming to an end. Somebody, it may be reconciliation, but I definitely feel like there is a change coming in here. You have quite a bit of air energy with the ace and two right together plus this five. Um, but you also have water and earth as well. Now, I personally like this, okay? There's something about this, this change of heart kind of energy. But I'd also say, too, even if it's not a reconciliation, even if it's a job that you lost, this is going to bring you to the next level, all right? You have the hero's journey here, but I like this a lot. It's like letting go, perhaps, of what you thought something was going to be. And it is in that, to some extent, it's grief, right? When we have a loss that we don't see coming, whether it's a job or a relationship or, you know, anything really that is meaningful in our lives, there's a period of grief. And so I do feel like this is almost like that next phase, right? The new beginning, the feeling like you can release anything that hasn't served you and you can let go of the grieving process, be done with that. And I'm not saying we shouldn't do it. I'm just saying we don't want to live there. So I do feel like you're bringing in a match, but it feels a bit unexpected to me. It feels like things took a, a turn you were not anticipating. Now, remember, think it through in the beginning. I think that's part of it. But I also feel like some of it is keeping things in perspective, right? And saying there's 8 billion people out there. There are more jobs, maybe not perhaps right in front of you, but there's something more. Or even if it's a housing situation and you've said like, you know, I, the insurance, the this, the that, the upkeep, the maintenance, it, uh, I don't want to do that anymore. I feel like there's a change of heart coming from within. And so with the world energy, this is where you just want to freeze time. This is where, this is true perfection. It is a new cycle. It's celebration. She dances in that wreath of victory. This is true freedom and bliss, really. And it's like a life without limits. So if there's some area of your life that makes you feel really stuck, like I mentioned, if it's a housing situation, I had somebody I met in another country who had moved from another country. They moved overseas and said they lost their job and they had a, they had a four-legged friend. They had a dog. And they made a comment that they felt really trapped with their dog. I mean, it was sad, but it was also like, you know, I think the feeling of they were feeling out of control and feeling like they couldn't get in control. And it was just like, I don't know how I even can take care of this animal right now. And so I do feel like it's almost something like that. It might not be quite that drastic. But like I said, where something that was good changed, I feel like this is where you're going to find the solutions. You're going to find the answers. You're going to have, it's like the happy ever after though. This is not, this is not a horrible solution. Okay. So, you know, with this, I do feel like it brings in freedom, like I said, and, and truly it really is basking in the perfection of the moment. Like everything comes into place. And so even something like a dog, there may be somebody who's, um, you know, really grieving themselves. And they go, God, I'd love to have your dog. And you go, can I have visiting rights? You know, <laughs> I mean, I just feel like, I don't know why that dog story came in here, but 
Anyway, and, and I felt like in that, I'd only met this woman once, very briefly. And I, you know how you sometimes meet someone and you can tell they're not going to judge you? I think she thought I wouldn't judge her, so she told me the truth. And so I also feel like you're kind of having that too, where you may have people who confide in you, who let their guard down. And it really does come from that. When we don't judge others, when our soul sees the the other soul in there and we, we kind of look past the human frailties, I feel like that's when we really connect best. And I feel like that's what you're doing here, really getting yourself... It's a change of place, a change of perspective. You have it here a couple of times, this change of perspective, seeing things differently, but also too for the better. And so if things have taken a turn for the worse, I do feel like you're gonna have a new opportunity that comes in here. And boy, is this clear with the Ace of Swords. This is the, a perfect antidote for that Two of Swords because the Two of Swords is challenging. It's confusion. But here you have clarity. This brings out the truth. It can be the truth about someone. So if it was a relationship that ended because you got blinders on over here and it might not be you, but there's, I'm just saying in the reading, it's you or somebody around you has blinders on and they're not staying that way for long because they're getting it here too. Okay. It's like this is changing whether we want it to or not. But I also feel like this is the freedom of it right here. And you have it, like I said, a couple of different times. And so I do feel like with this, you have communication coming out, but it's also your own understanding of the truth and really understanding of the need for change. So anything new that you do in this Ace of Swords energy, you'll be a powerhouse. You will knock it out of the park. If you're starting a new business or you're starting at a new job or even in a relationship, I do feel like you have a better match if it's a relationship that ended. And the communication is very upfront. I also feel like with this, you will not get into a relationship as a palate cleanser. You know what I mean? The one, last one ended, you kind of have the in-between, then you go on to the real one now. And just don't see you being in anything that isn't for you. And so with this, I feel like it makes you also have that feeling of integrity, living a life with integrity. So the Two of Cups, I told you, you got a perfect match here. Enjoy every single minute of it. And so with the two of cups in a relationship, it may start in a way in a pace that really suits your needs. It really makes sense for you. It feels comfortable and easy and it feels right. And so with this two of cups, though, in terms of jobs or housing, if you do have a difficult decision to make or one that perhaps, because you have the crown of the ego here, if it is a logical decision, but it is sort of that one of those things that touches on the ego, like I said, like perhaps downsizing the house or saying I need to course correct because this is not what it was. Whatever it is, I feel like you're going to do it here and you're going to find a match and it's going to be a, so much load, pressure lifted off of you. I just feel like there's an immediate relief from whatever this is. And so with the five of swords, it's like time to be done with this. If it is just a mental challenge because this too is like holding yourself hostage um, and if that's the case and it's more of a you against you kind of a thing I do feel like you're going to get the communication that you need because it's it feels like there's been a lack of information here and so if it is an actual falling out with someone that you've had a breakup and you've been trying to move on and haven't been able to or even with a job too that there's something here that's going to push you into change. That's just how I see it. That's what the cards are saying, and the cards don't lie. So I do feel like with this Five of Swords energy, it really is about moving on to something better. Well, the Four of Pentacles, this will bring in lots of order and direction and all the good things that you need in terms of a change with money. But even in relationships, I do feel like this brings in your discernment. I like the Four of Pentacles because it brings in management, okay, so that you don't make decisions hastily. Remember, didn't you have Think It Over? This would be a big one for that too. Um, so, it, so it is about, for some, looking at things carefully, okay, and not perhaps rushing into change. But I will say with this, it is you do have to be willing to let go, willing to let go and move on. So if it's somebody around you too who will not let go, then that is part of it because you have it here too a bit with the Two of Swords. I mean, she's totally unwilling, but there's an emotional energy around her. And so ready or not, here I come is what I get here. It's like this must change. And so trying to stay status quo, trying to resist change, think it over, yes, but then 
take some action. It is what the cards are calling for. And so with the two of swords, it's a fork in the road. It could be a clash of ideas or words that you experienced with that five of swords. Um, but with this too, you know, she can be kind of defensive, a defensive energy. So if it's somebody that you're approaching and you find that they are just very reluctant or unwilling, then this is just not the right time to try to settle things with them. Um, and so with this, it can be that uncertainty, though, of not knowing what path to take to say, I'd really like to get this on better ground, but they're not willing. And so she's blinded. She's trapped in this. We just don't want to live here. And so I do feel like with this, there's indecisive energy around you. Somebody really just simply does not know what they want. And with the hangman, though, that reversal energy comes just in the nick of time because I do feel like it pulls you away from all this indecisive energy. So if it's you and you say, no, I'm, I'm raising my hand right here, it's me, then this is going to help a lot. And so the numbers here, 4, 12, 13 are often important here with this one. Um, but it also, too, is being open to change in that light bulb moment, that aha moment that, okay, now I see what I need to do here. You have a change of heart. So I mentioned before, if this closed off energy has been in the past, this may be the, the door opening finally. If it seems like it's been a long time coming and you're going, this is just ridicu ridiculous, we have to get past this. I do feel like you're gonna move on to something more and better and just get things into a be better shape than they are now. With the Eight of Cups here, that hero's journey is a new cycle that has you walking on to more. It has you really finding depth. And it also, if there is recovery necessary, I do feel like you're going to put the past behind you. He doesn't look back. You move on without looking back, without being chained on to previous, you know, what something was or even mistakes or forks in the road. You just move on. And so let's see now here what the angel answers want to tell you cancer what else does cancer need to know please what advice do you have for cancer please messages please for cancer You have helpful people coming in. So definitely if there's something needed, if it is a job change or something, that may be that new offer. And even a housing thing where somebody gives you great advice, get more information. That's the key to this all. I feel like somebody here needs information. Communicate clearly. They're almost hollering at, it, at this at you. A year from now. So don't worry, though. That doesn't mean you're going to be just sitting in muck, okay? You're moving forward, and in a year from now, this is going to be a distant memory, and you've got a yes. I haven't seen that one in a while. Good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.